The United States is sending their vice president to Africa in an attempt to salvage Western relations with the continent, as America hopes to maintain Western influence over the various African nations while slowing down the influence of BRICS. Let's talk about what's happening, why Africa finds the entire world wanting to be their friends, and what this means for business in Africa. This trip from the vice president will include Ghana, Tanzania, and Zambia, and follows French President Macron's friendship tour of Africa a few weeks prior. This is clearly a preemptive measure, with the West trying to get ahead of President Putin, who plans to visit Africa to make a major push to align Africa with BRICS later this year. After the Ukraine war created a clear division between the West and Russia, the West realized that Africa aligning itself with BRICS nations would give Russia a major strategic advantage over the West. Thus, the U.S. and France are extremely worried about losing influence with Africa, as China and Russia have made significant inroads in various African nations. If you spent time in Africa, you have likely seen the massive infrastructure projects. The U.S. is hoping to use a charm offensive to convince the African countries to expand their relations with the Western world and reject future infrastructure and business deals from Russia and China. Each side is coming to the African nations with proposals. At this point, we can only speculate as many of the negotiations are ongoing and all sides are tight-lipped. Nevertheless, let's talk about what offers are likely going to be on the table from the West and from BRICS and which side is more favorable to business in Africa. The BRICS nations, specifically Russia and China, are likely offering the various African leaders more energy infrastructure, transportation infrastructure, free grain, and help in developing African manufacturing, among other things. In exchange, the BRICS nations are likely looking to continue to establish a business foothold in Africa, receive a revenue stream from the various infrastructure projects through tolls and surcharges, allow BRICS access to the raw resources of the African continent, and of course, the ultimate goal of BRICS may be to cut off Western influence from Africa. The West will likely be a little less transparent. The West will offer foreign aid with strings attached, developmental loans from the World Bank, more American visa lotteries for the African citizens, and implied military protection for the leaders who play nice with Europe and America. In exchange, the U.S. will expect Africa to conform more with Western social norms, allow Western companies access to the African economies, and of course, limit future African involvement with the BRICS nations. This is fundamentally a continuation of the previous relationship the West had with Africa, though perhaps with a nicer tone. On the surface, the BRICS nations appear to be offering a much better deal for the African economies. The infrastructure and nuclear energy deals appear to be game changers without the typical political and social baggage the West pushes. From a business standpoint, it seems BRICS is the winning choice if you are an investor in Africa. But the devil is in the details, and we do not know whether the BRICS nations will maintain a neutral business relationship with Africa indefinitely, or whether they will attempt Western-style political intrigue if BRICS influence becomes more entrenched. Either way, it certainly must be an interesting time to be an African. After centuries of being treated like second-class countries, they now find major powers of the world attempting to win their favor, putting the Africans in a much stronger negotiating position than they enjoyed in the past. I believe this competition for African friendship could lead to better trade deals and more respect for African autonomy. But what do you guys think? Have the trips from the leaders in America and France improved your opinion of Western involvement in Africa? Or should the African nations align more with BRICS? Or do you feel Africa should limit foreign involvement in their economies and develop independently of both the West and BRICS? Let me know in the comments below. I'm very interested in your opinions on this. And as always, if this video provided you with value, give me a like and a follow. That really helps out my channel. And I will see you on the next video.